there's no solution and we will not be able to use gas trucks on long term anymore. Why? Because at the end, we still have our an economical company, we still have to survive, we have to make profit. And with every mileage today that we drive with the gas truck, we lose money. The solution is not so difficult. It's the government has to understand that we are looking to the future and we all have the responsibility to reduce CO2, but we have to do it on different levels and with different kinds of energies. Let all these different kinds of energies develop in their own way. But the fastest way to reduce CO2 in road transport today is by using bio LNG because the trucks are there, the infrastructure is there, uh, it's just by one thing that we can start to use it. And of course, an important element is um, we have to make sure that the gap between the standard polluting solutions is not too high so the market can accept the, the supplemental cost for this. And I believe we can do it as long as the government gives enough support to reduce the gap in the smalls. We just need the support to be able to continue to invest in technologies which will help us to reduce the CO2 level of road transport. And therefore, we were able or we were willing to also pay an extra for to use these trucks, but we not, cannot cover as a transport company the gap today as it is because it's too high. So we need support to reduce the gap, not to zero, but to an acceptable level. Legislation is not adapted to the reality. So maybe they should start from a completely white paper and start to write again uh, legislation which is adapted to the reality of today. And that helps also the transport companies to make the right choices to assist the market in this uh, strive for CO2 neutral transport.